What's up everyone? Welcome back to Quest Mode. Today, we're checking out 10 awesome looking games releasing in 2019 that just haven't gotten the attention that they deserve. Now, some of these are huge AAA experiences that for some reason or another, people aren't talking about, and others are just smaller games that you might not have heard of. Either way, here are 10 amazing looking games that should absolutely be on your radar in 2019. Man of Medan is the first in an anthology of horror adventures from Supermassive Games, the studio behind Until Dawn, which is arguably the best horror game on the PlayStation. With Man of Medan, you follow a group of young deep-sea treasure hunters who somehow end up on an abandoned World War II ghost ship. Just like in Until Dawn, the story appears to be a tale of cause and effect, with the fate of each character depending upon your decisions. Some choices will force you to act quickly, while others will give you time to weigh your emotional attachment to the cast. Spoilers, this game could be a little campy, but it's definitely going to be really scary. Babylon's Fall is the first collaboration between Square Enix and Platinum Games since Nier Automata, but unlike Nier, Babylon's Fall is more fantasy than futuristic. Everything we know about the game has been gleaned from its cryptic yet epic reveal trailer. It appears you'll do battle as a class of warriors called Nomads who can harness the power of an energy source known as the Oversoul, and you'll be fighting the gods. While no gameplay has been shown, the premise of humans versus heavens with weapons powered by an ancient supernatural force sounds like an awesome platinum game through and through. After the success of Life is Strange and Vampire, the storytellers at Don't Nod are once again switching gears to something entirely different a psychological mystery thriller called Twin Mirror. You take the role of Sam, an investigative journalist who has the unique ability to use his mind's eye to piece together memories and events from the past. Adding another twist, you have a suave and humorous alter ego who helps you solve the mysteries set before you. In other words, Twin Mirror lets you play a detective savant with multiple personalities. I'm in. Everybody knows Fire Emblem Three Houses is coming to Switch in 2019. Or do they? I just saw a list of the top 50 games of 2019 on a major gaming site and, well, Three Houses didn't make the cut. What gives? For the uninitiated, Fire Emblem is a strategy RPG set in a fantasy world featuring an epic cast of characters who live and die based on your success in combat. With three houses, the battle menu has been reworked and battles themselves now feature entire armies at your command as opposed to the one-on-one -on -one system Fire Emblem is known for. Also, it looks like you'll be able to freely explore certain environments. All changes aside, if three houses lives up to its predecessors, expect to devote a lot of time to this game when it arrives in the spring. Even if In the Valley of the Gods wasn't developed by the creators of Firewatch, it would still be among my most anticipated games of 2019. I mean, the game looks gorgeous, and it's set amidst the ancient, dusty, and sun-soaked ruins of 1920s Egypt. Unfortunately, we haven't seen much, or really any of the game, since it was revealed at the 2017 Game Awards. What we do know is that you'll utilize your 35mm camera to document the world as you traverse the ancient tunnels and temples. And of course, you can expect some quality storytelling. As you wander the fractured landscape, you'll work to rebuild the broken relationship with your former partner, who you must rely on as you uncover the archaeological discovery of a lifetime. Given that it hasn't been all that long since Neo debuted on the PS4, I'm skeptical that the sequel will make its 2019 release window, but we can hope. In an interview with Sony, the devs have said that it won't deviate all that much from the original. Instead, they're taking the opportunity to implement the best features they weren't able to include in the first game. In other words, the sequel is the game they've always wanted to make. 
So if you're looking for more tough and nuanced combat, engaging bosses, and you like the oddball tone of the original, then this should be a day one buy. Another sequel that everyone seemed to forget about right after it was announced, Spelunky 2 promises more of what made the original one of the most challenging yet best reviewed roguelites of all time. You'll explore randomly generated levels, find loot, dodge traps, discover secrets, and curse your TV, all as you aim to find that ever elusive exit. And while all that's familiar enough, there are also new characters, new abilities, water and lava physics, a new online mode, and a quote, new layer within each level that you can travel to and from as you explore the beautiful and varied underground worlds. The best compliment that I can give Atomic Heart is that after watching its impressive and surprising trailer, I felt hopeful that it might actually reach the heights of the classic games that seem to have inspired it. I'm talking about games like Bioshock and the Metro series. It's a first-person action RPG set in an alternate reality within the USSR where Soviet communism still exists and a technical revolution has led to a world teeming with robots, holograms, and AIs. I'm not sure who exactly you're fighting in Atomic Heart, but the combat is brutal and you're encouraged to explore both melee and shooting mechanics. Unfortunately, only the beta is being promised in 2019, so it's possible we won't see a full release until 2020. Mario Kart Tour is somehow supposed to release before the end of March 2019, yet we don't even have a trailer for it. But here's what we do know. Just like Fire Emblem Heroes and Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, the game will be free to start with optional microtransactions. We also know it's being developed by DNA, who made the two aforementioned games and also Super Mario Run. And like Super Mario Run, it's rumored that you'll be able to control Mario Kart Tour with just one finger. Again, I'm not big on mobile games, but if this game is half the fun of Mario Kart 8, I'll definitely check it out. Observation is the next game by No Code, a studio you probably haven't heard of who developed Stories Untold, one of the best games of 2017 that you, well, probably haven't heard of. Observation is an adventure game where your goal is to explore a space station after a mysterious event that caused most of the crew to disappear. But instead of playing as the lone survivor, you play as the space station. That's right, you control the ship's artificial intelligence and it's up to you to access its systems, cameras, and machinery to help the surviving astronaut solve puzzles and discover what happened. If you ever wanted a video game version of 2001 A Space Odyssey, this might be as close as you'll get. Well, thank you guys so much for watching the entire video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And if you never want to miss any of my content, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And until soon, we'll see you in the next video.